No, I know breaking right. news. Speaking <laughs> speaking of the last year. Yes, no, it's not true. We're kidding. We're kidding. Is that true for Russell Wilson? Rob, it ain't going good in Denver. Now, Sean Payton was supposed to go in there and turn everything around, according to many people, and according to him, too. All right? Remember he went off on Nat Hackett, and Nat was bad. I mean, I'm not going to act like Nat wasn't bad. He was bad, but it just was bad karma, Chris. You don't. That's why you don't do that. Like, I, I thought, don't. everybody knows he was bad. That's why you got the job, right? That's why you're there. If he was good, you wouldn't be there. You're there to clean the mess up. You don't need to, to rain on his parade or, 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 or dance on his grave, which was, which was awful. But anyway... Uh, now look at him. Now look at where they are, Chris. Well, they're zero they two. Are. They're zero and two. Lost to the and bad they Raiders. Played right. The Raiders beat them by a point. The Commanders, who are are pretty decent, we'll see if they make. They the were playoff, down bad. Though. They were down they were big. Twenty one three on the Commanders at home. At home and lose that game thirty five thirty three. And here's the the ironic thing, Rob. And and look. Obviously, Sean Payton's a better coach than Nat Hackett. But as much as Payton killed Nat Hackett's job last year that he did, Nat Hackett was 2-1 and one at this point. Uh, yep. At one Think point. about that, Chris. Yeah. I mean, he didn't start 0-2. And, and so, Sean is a good coach. Uh, we've talked about it. He did have three straight 7-9 and nine seasons. With the Hall of Fame quarterback. Right, Drew he's Brees. he's look Super Bowl in New Orleans, Rob. We remember what the Saints were like before he got there. They, they used were, to wear bags over their head. Right, they were the ain'ts. So he that's a big part of why he's gotten all the love. I mean, he's done a good job. Prop maybe a tad overrated, but still a very good coach. But so far, not so good, Rob. And there are some who are thinking he may be throwing Russell Wilson. Over on you know throwing uh, Russell Wilson uh, over the butt, running the bus over him. What's the term? I'm, I'm like drawing Thorn, a blank. No, th- throwing him off the bus. Throwing or? him under the bus. <laughs> under the bus. Under the bus. When I say running the running him over with, with the, the bus, bus, right? He's throwing running him, him over with the bus. <laughs> but here's what he said <laughs> after the game yesterday. That's got to change. We had to burn timeouts in the first half, and I'm not used to doing. We got to be better and. Uh, I've got to be better. Russ has got to be sharper with with getting it, getting the play out, and then we got to look at how much we have in. But you know, if we need to wristband it, we will. I, look, Rob, I, I'm not one to feel like every time a coach mentions a player that oh, he's calling him out. I mean, he's right, right? Like we got to get the plays in quicker. I, I don't, I don't. Now, some players might take it the wrong way, and some people just feel different from me. Hey, don't mention it. Just say the right thing in front of the press, and then you can talk to the players behind. I was going to say, do we do we do we need to see? Do we need to know all that, Chris? Like the plays aren't getting in. Just say that we're not executing. I don't need to give you the details, and 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 Russ isn't doing it, or I'm not doing. Just we we haven't done what we needed to do. We were up twenty three to one, twenty twenty one to three at home. Uh, and and we and we blew the game. I mean, and we're zero and two. I I hear you. I'm just saying, if if I'm Russell Wilson, and I know I'm getting the plays in slow, or I'm caught, you know, whatever. I'm I'm delayed. I'm I'm not doing it as fast as I should be. If the coach mentions it like that, I I'm I, honestly I'm not like tripping. I'm like, no, it's, it's true. I mean, he didn't like rip you. Here's the part that I didn't like, Rob, and this is where I think Peyton was kind of being self-serving when he said, which I'm not used to. Yep. That's the part. Because then you that separate he, he, yourself, he exalts right? himself. We don't yes. I've yes. coached before. We've never had this problem right. before. Exactly. That's exactly None of my what other he's quarterbacks saying. would do this. Like, that's the problem. If he just says, Yeah, you know, we we do gotta be better. I gotta be better. Russ has to be better. You know, we got to get the plays in a little faster. You know, that, fine. But when he threw that in, that's the part that makes it feel self-serving. And, Rob, their next game is Miami, which looks pretty good, especially offensively. And their defense 
fell apart. They're, look, and I'm not going to kill them for one game falling apart because they've been carrying, carrying the Broncos and keeping them in games while their offense hasn't given them anything. But uh, right now, Rob, it is not looking good in Denver. It really isn't, Chris. And, and most people thought he was going to be the anecdote, the, the cure, whatever you want to say, was that it was because things were really bad because it was a first-year coach and and Nathaniel can't hack it and he was the root of everything that was wrong. You, you came up with Nathaniel. Yeah. People were calling him Nathaniel, Nathaniel can't hack, hack it. No, okay. Yes. People I was you. right. Okay, all right. I'll claim. I'll take that one. But you get my point. Is that people thought, well, it's Sean Payton. He he's the miracle worker. Man, he's a great coach. You won a Super Bowl with the Saints. All that. That was a long time ago. I hate to break it to you. It was a long time ago. And I've talked about about him and Mike McCarthy. They well, they they looking real good right. Yeah, now. but they have a. Most people look the other way. You know, think of. Uh, McCarthy as as the cartoon character, right? And uh, you know, and Sean Payton as uh, Adonis as, as far as coaching, genius. Yeah, right. you know what I mean. And and uh, they're they're very similar in in their records and what they've accomplished and all that stuff. And I just wonder, you know, how bad is this going to be in Denver? Like like when I saw him up 21 to 3 Chris some I, people think he's going to ultimate I mean we'll see obviously the games need to be played and we'll see how ben well Russ plays but yeah some people look, with that contract I mean, has he even started his extension yet no but he <laughs> could they could get out of it after this I mean they they're going to have a heck of a cap hit but I mean they there is a way for them to get out of that contract after this or at least get off of you know they could cut him let's put it that way they'd have a dead cap dead money and all that stuff um, but they could get rid of Russ after this. And, and Chris, did you just see what happened to Nick Chubb's knee? Bent, no, I saw it he went, scored. Bent backwards. He oh. went bent the opposite way. Looks like it could be, and it's not. We're not oh. reporting this. A season-ending. Uh, Is uh, somebody saying that? Yeah. Because I'm. I'm. On, I must be on the delay. I saw he scored. It was on the touchdown. Rob, Rob right? No, he didn't score. That was his backup oh. who scored. He was knocked out oh. a few plays before, taken to the back on the cart, and Mary Kay Cabot already reporting. He's officially ruled out of the game with a left knee injury. Twitter doctors, you know, they're out in full force. Hey, but you know when what? your knee bends back the opposite direction. See, I don't it's a very graphic hi- video. Highlight, dude. It, it yeah, bends back the, all the way because I have the my opposite head down. direction. Ugh. And in fact, on the uh, Monday Night Football broadcast, they chose not to show the replay on television after they showed the replay in the stadium, and you hear the collective groan of the Steelers uh, fans. So they, they didn't. So no so wonder we haven't seen it. it so TV. they're not showing it again. Yeah, right? I don't want to see it. I Man. didn't see it. I, I saw somebody score for the Browns, and I just assumed it was Chubb. But okay, so I didn't see that that part. Um, wow, that's Nick Chubb. Look, there are a handful of running backs that are really, like, great. Derrick Henry, Nick Chubb. Uh, I mean, Josh Jacobs had last year. was great. Jonathan uh, Taylor had, had a year or two. But those two have done it. Chubb and and, uh, and Saquon's been, Rob, great when he's played. He's had injury problems. But he's he's been a difference maker since he's been in the league. But Chubb, whew, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. But so what do you like? What is at this point in the season? I didn't pick Denver to make the playoffs. I thought they'd be improved. I thought they'd win seven or eight games, maybe nine, but I don't didn't have them making the playoffs. Um, I think they still Russ has played better. He hasn't played good enough, but he's been much better than he was under Nat Hackett. But the bottom line is they're not winning. They're still they're 0 2. So what is your um, assessment at this point of the Broncos as we put a bow on this? Well, I mean, just that uh, it was yesterday's loss. Okay, they lost a close one in week one. Uh, that wasn't a great way to get started. But they to be up be, 20. Could be 2-0. Oh, yeah, but to be up 21-3 to three at home, Chris, and lose that game, that, that's a blow. I don't know. It's a, it's a, a, I, I didn't feel good about them anyway, but uh, – it's starting to go bad the other way, and I just wonder another loss or two how people will feel 